everyone, welcome to Tarot and Nails or welcome back. I'm gonna do a quick reading for the collective. If this reading resonates, please like, share, and subscribe. And if you are looking for a personal reading, you can book that if you follow the link below. And you can also follow me over on TikTok where I post different stuff. So let's get into it. What does the collective need to know at this time? Hope everyone's doing well. What does the collective need to know at this time? Ooh, that was crazy. Oh. Okay, you've got the Prince of Boots in reverse. Jeez. Okay. The Knight of Vessels. The Knight of Coins. Ace of Coins, the Wayfarer, okay, Ooh. okay, that's too many, put this back, that one, okay. A lot of you are going on a trip. You might be packing. A lot of you might not know um, that you are going to be traveling soon. You might get notification um, within the next couple of days or a week. A lot of you, this could have to do with work. Um, you're gonna get notification that you are being selected for something, some type of project where you have to go overseas or you have to go like across the country, something where you're packing things up for a while, not permanent, but for an extended period, like perhaps up to six months, um, where you will be like basically going on this adventure. And I don't want to say it's forced, but it kind of is. It's not something you're electing to do on your own. This is kind of like, like something where you're basically told, hey, this is what you're doing. For some of you, it could be military as well. So we've got the Sin of Sloth, Queen of Birds, Queen of Books. You're definitely in your queen energy. Got two aces. Got the Ace of Coins. And you've got the Ace of Swords. And they're both in the upright, which is fucking great. Like, so this, this travel that you're being told you need to accomplish is going to help you grow as a leader a speaker it's going to help your finances grow like you're going to tap into abundance because you're going to go through this process where because you're seeing another part of the world or you're seeing um you're seeing the world through someone else's lens you're going to be rewarded greatly for basically like stepping out of your comfort zone is what i'm getting you got another queen queen of vessels I'm feeling very like Virgo energy, perfectionist. I think this is why you were chosen um, for this project is your attention to detail. Um, something about the way that you work. Your name could be Andrea or Aubrey, some a name that starts with an A or ends with an A. Also, something about the Loch Ness Monster. I don't know what that has to do with anything. Um, you might be meeting a lot of new people also um, as it relates to travel. While you're traveling. So you've got the Ace of Books. You've got the Sin of Lust. You could also be hooking up um with people that are foreign to you as far as what you're used to um you might be you know saying i don't necessarily need to um only be with people that are my type like you're kind of stepping out of your comfort zone in all areas of your life so this travel for you is monumental it is going to open doors pathways for you, um, aside from just this project, it's almost like this project is the beginning because you've got the fool here in this deck. This is the fool, 
going on this new adventure, you're starting over. You get a clean slate. No, no matter what happened um, in the past, you're moving on from that. You're, you're no longer being held down by um, your actions in the past. So if things weren't great for you before, none of that matters going forward. This new path that you're on has no ties to your past. It's a clean slate. You get to be who you want to be is what I'm getting. You're gaining a lot of wisdom through this adventure as well. Um, you're really going to level up mentally to the point where when you see people from your past, you're going to feel like you outgrew them. They're not even going to be able to relate to you. You're just going to have this come up, this glow up, and it's really, really beautiful. So all four aces are on the board in this one deck. It's pretty crazy. You've got so much um, opening up to you. There's a lot happening for you. Let's get some clarifiers here. You're really in your fe feminine energy, um, whether you are feminine or not. Um, that's definitely where you're vibing. Yeah, anyone from your past, like you might be feeling, like if you're getting headaches, for example, um, obviously go check with your doctor, I'm not a doctor. Um, but a lot of times stuff like that can be related to, you know, bad energy, bad juju. People could be, um, like hexing or cursing you, or even just as simple as like negative thoughts, like pushing negative energy towards you. Um, so definitely be mindful of that. If you feel like have your boundaries up, if you feel like people are pushing negative stuff towards you, make sure that you return to sender times 10 or whatever. Um, just make sure that you're not accepting that energy, even if it's not, like intentionally, like you saying, I accept this, not doing anything about it is also acceptance. So if you're feeling like ailments or triggers or things to you that indicate someone else is trying to get into your energy or wishing you ill will, make sure you get grounded again, whatever that means for you. Relax, chill, be around, you know, friends, family, people that you know for sure are on your side. Um, meditate, do exercise, anything, um, anything that gets you into this good space where your chakras are aligning and everything is peaceful, that's how you're going to be able to build up those walls. That's when you're going to realize what you need to do to keep people that don't necessarily wish you well away from you and how to keep the energy that they're pushing towards you back to them. What else does the collective need to know at this time? Yeah, your ships are coming in. You have so many opportunities coming towards you. It's it's insane. And you've got the Empress on the bottom of the deck. You are the Empress. You've got this infinity symbol. Um, these fish. Very, very curious time for you as well. Like your um, curiosity is going to be very peaked at this time. You're going to want to explore not only, you know, distant lands and new places and things like that and meet new people, it's also going to be a time where you just want to have different environments around you. You might, um, you might move. You might be thinking about permanently moving when you start having these experiences because you're going to recognize that you've maybe stayed stagnant, you know, too long. Got the Two of Swords. Eight of Cups in reverse, the Ace of Swords, another Ace. You've got the Ace of Swords here twice. You're having a lot of like spiritual breakthroughs. You're meditating, you're opening your third eye, you're having these really critical thoughts and epiphanies. You're, you're really waking up to a lot of what has happened to you and why and how you're able to cleanse and clear like your aura of certain people. And like I just said, <laughs> aura, um, courts could be very helpful to you during this time as well. I see a lot of you like maybe going shoe shopping or like really like shoes um, to kind of like celebrate you. And by the way, anybody who's not celebrating you at this time is going to be left behind. Like you can see the fool here, like there you are, unsure about your new path, but knowing that it's going to be fucking awesome. 
alone though. You know, you have your dog, but you're not bringing anybody with you. You're starting fresh. This is a clean slate. So anyone who comes into your life once you're on this new path is going to align with you, which is why you have to go into this alone because anyone that's still connected to you in this old energy isn't coming with you. They're staying exactly where they are. But you're definitely protected during this this you know, transition and it's going to be really smooth and easy. So that is what I have for you collective. Let me know if this reading resonated. Please like, share, and subscribe. Help your, help your girl grow her channel. Um, and then if you want a personal reading, you can book that below. I do same day readings and I can get that um, over to you quickly. And then if you want to follow me over on TikTok, um, I post different readings over there. So I will see you next time. Love you. Bye.